All praises to Yahweh, Baal Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baal Hashem, Rekah Kodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone for teaching us this truth. In today's lesson comes from uh, this internet news source called uh, WTF. Uh, it says, God WTF, and they entitled it the end of the world in Israel. Ashdod has been destroyed by tornadoes, I believe it is. Um, I, didn't, I forgot about this. Uh, Ashdod, it says, uh, what it says by Ashdod, the scripture had a, uh, scripture and by Ash that said a, a bastard would dwell in Ash dot man and that bastard is the you know the so called uh Jews that are over there now and that's scriptural man that you know uh that uh, uh you know that a, 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 a bastard would be dwelling in Ash dot which is you know this is the land of uh the most highest people but and the people that are over there now that's dwelling in there, that you know they they are not they are not the Lord's people. The Lord's people who are supposed to be in that land are the Israelites, which are you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Okay, so uh uh not saying, you know, a, a tornado can, you know, form and be anywhere, but it just caught my eye that, you know, the title of this thing on uh you know, it made me think about uh, a few of the scriptures. So we'll let the video play, Lord willing. We'll come back with a few precepts and it's edifying to the flock. At least 70 people were injured as a result of natural disasters that struck Israel on Tuesday. A tornado swept over the northern part of the country, Galilee, and hailstorms fell the size of a ping pong ball. According to the internet service of the Haaretz newspaper, citing meteorologists, the hurricane wind, as the newspaper writes, blew cars off the roads, tore wires, damaged the roofs of houses and boilers installed on the roofs. Only 70 people, including 20 children, turned to the clinic in the northern city of Naharia for medical help. Most of them received minor injuries. Sandstorms raged in southern Israel. Here the wind knocked down a 15-meter tree crushing two cars at once. Firefighters were called to rescue passengers trapped in one of the vehicles. In some areas, the wind covered the roadway with a 20-centimeter layer of sand. Visibility in the sandstorm zone did not exceed one meter, Haaretz writes with reference to the drivers. Last Sunday, rains fell in Israel, causing the death of five people. Two died in cars washed off the road by powerful streams of water, three in a car accident. The driver got into a deep puddle and, having lost control, drove into the oncoming lane, where he collided with another car. So now you see what was going on over in Israel, you know, which you know, tornadoes has been, you know, tearing up the, you know, different places and different cities and different, you know, countries all over, you know. <clears throat> I've been seeing a lot of them, you know. Uh, what really sticks out was, you know, the one that, you know, there was, uh, I guess it was on, it traveled about 200 miles, they say, on land. I guess that was the one, like, in the Midwest. Uh, parts of Arkansas and uh, Illinois, and that did the most damage, I believe, in uh, uh, what was that, Kentucky? Yeah, and uh, yeah, I think it was in Mayfield or Midfield, Mayfield, Kentucky. You know, and but this one here in Israel, you know, it means the most, you know, to the Lord's people because the, the land that's over there now is a uh, being defiled by, you know, the so-called uh, 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 people of the Lord over there, which we know they're not the people of the Lord. You know, they are. They was uh, put in that land in 19, I believe, 48. Um, 
and the Lord's people are here, you know, and mostly in America, you know, we uh, was placed mainly here in, you know, South America, whatever, uh, and, you know, all over the four corners of the, uh, you know, the earth, but the Lord, uh, everything is really focused on America, man. You know, America uh, has the spotlight, you know, on uh, on America, basically, because of, uh, you know, the Israelites uh, have really made America what it is today, you know, um, just as well as, uh, you know, ancient Egypt. And, uh, you know, America is this modern, is, you know, it's a modern day uh, uh, Babylon, you know, uh, just, you know, the same way the Israelites made uh, Egypt, you know, we're making a modern day Egypt uh, uh, the same way, to shine, man, to make everyone, you know, look at it, you know, but, you know, with that being said, uh, let's get this precept I got right here, this book of Exodus, chapter 17, verse 16, it says, for he said, because the Lord Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh has sworn that the Lord Yahweh will have war with Amalek from gener generation to generation. So the Lord will have war with, you know, the Amaleks, which are the chief house of Edom, Esau, Edom, the Edomites, you know, you know, beginning with the, uh, the chief house is the uh, the elite bankers, man. You know the Rothschilds and you know uh, Rockefellers and so on. You know, okay. So uh, let's see what this uh, what they show us for Amalek. So Amalek was a nation described in the Hebrew Bible as a, a, a stanchions. I guess I'm saying it right. Enemy of the Israelites. The name Amalek can refer to the nation founder of grandson of Esau, his descendant. The Amaleks are the territorial Amalek, which, uh, let's see, which they inhabited, you know, okay. I thought it was going to give us a little more, but you see who Amalek is, you know. You know it was the grandson of Esau, so, you know, Esau and Jacob, you know, you know, you read the, uh, you know, the history on Jake, Jacob and Esau. You know, they were, you know, the Lord made us, uh, Yahweh Shemi Abishai made us uh, our arch enemies, you know, even from the womb. Okay, so, you know, I didn't really want to, you know, make it too long, you know, just something short and sweet that the Lord is uh, definitely fighting for his people, man, you know, he hadn't gone all the way out because it's not that time yet, you know, prophecy still has to uh, play out. And, uh, you know, it's just it's a gradual thing. But you have about Shimmy Abishai, so when it actually happens, you know, we all going to know, you know, when the Lord comes back, you know, it, it's going to really be needed. You know, the, the, the earth will be in you know, in, in major turmoil, okay, you know, so with that being said, you know, I can close it out and give all praises and honor to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekha, Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone for teaching us his truth, and shalom to the hopeful elect.